Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I've been doing is taking apart many of my copper yokes that I've gotten from CRT TVs as well as my computer monitors and I actually had 20 of them. Combined weight they weighed 30 pounds and what I'm going to do today is a little experiment to show you how much copper I've gotten from all of them. The nice thing about copper yokes, unlike your D-gauze cable that goes around the uh, screens, which can sometimes be aluminum, the copper that comes off of these copper yokes is always copper. And it does come in different colors or shades. And these mod yokes do come in different sizes. So I do have a number of different sizes of them that came out of different size TVs as well as computer monitors. I'm going to just save a couple, going to break them open for you, show you how easy it is. And the nice thing about these as well, they will have a type of magnetic material called ferrite that goes around these yokes. And this will be going into my tin or shred pile. And I'm still going to get eight cents a pound for this. So I do have a bin back here of that. I do have a box here of some of the plastic waste. So going to weigh it all at the end show you how much copper I got, how much ferrite, and how much waste, and show you how much of a profit that I made from these yokes. So, as I said, save three of them here, just for educational purposes. You can see they do come in different sizes, uh, some really nice copper, and again, just to show you, prove it to you, there is some that is red, but amber looking, as you can see there, scratch it, that is copper. There is a little bit of paper on here, and that's okay. I will leave this on here. All of this copper is going to be number two copper. And currently right now in London, Ontario, it's going for $3.50 a pound Canadian. Uh, so definitely a great item to be scrapping, saving up. And some of these yokes, you can see, there are other spools of copper that come off of them. The circuit board here, that is number two copper as well, as well as the back here. For these experiments, I do add this up as well because it all adds up. As well, sometimes around the um, shell, you can see there is copper going around there. Uh, this one does not have the copper going here, but it does have some tin here. Again, this I'm going to throw right in with my ferrite uh, as well as this one. Just a smaller one, but you can see the ferrite around that and some really nice number two copper. For this, you definitely want to make sure you're wearing um, ear protection as well as eye protection. Um, it does get loud. The greatest thing about this is it actually is an awesome activity to relieve stress because for these, all I'm actually going to do is put it on my vise and I'm going to smash it with a hammer. Um, again, for this, uh, when I did these ones, I did wear ear protection because uh, it can get loud and you definitely want to make sure you protect your ears. And when you do smash it, the ferrite and plastic can bounce around and go in different places, so you definitely want to protect your eyes. But very easy, you can see all I'm going to do is smash this, smash that off, hit this ferrite, okay, so a couple different places that I'm going to access here. Uh, I do also have some wire that I've saved up for this experiment too. Just going to cut that off here. Show you some really nice number two. And for this, I do take a little bit of the tape off if I can. Um, just to, you know, make sure that uh, it's going to be number two. I know the scrapyards will not say much about there, but sometimes there is a little bit of, on the tape, a piece of magnetic uh, strip. I do want to take that off, but the, this type of tape that has no magnetic force to it is going to be number two. I'm just going to add that to the pile. So here it, as I said, is a circuit board. And these circuit boards that have copper on them, there are different ones that you have. So you do have ones that are disguised with some tape on it. Uh, you do have some, unfortunately, that are hidden under these black things. But you definitely want to make sure you keep your eyes open because, again, it all adds up. And it's definitely, like I said, with copper prices, copper is our scrapper's gold. And you definitely don't want to pass it up because 
it is definitely a good price and something that continues to stay at a high price. So I just unravel it. The rest of this does have some magnetic force to it. Uh, there is some ferrite that attaches to this as well. So it does gonna go into my number two and all of the casing on that. Once I unravel it, this is just gonna go into my ferrite as well. And someone is gonna say that this does look like bare bright, which it does. But unfortunately, when we scrap, um, bare bright only pertains to a wire that is thicker than 16 gauge, uh, as well as number one wire. Um, this stuff, because it is thinner than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil, um, it's all number two as well. The stuff that has tape on it and glue, uh, a lot of this yoke, once I open this, does have uh, glue residue, so that's why it's gonna be number two as well. So all of this is number two. Um, but here we go again, just gonna break this open, just hit it again with a hammer. Okay, and there are two levels to this, or two layers. You're gonna have inside two bells that you see, or two types of bells that you see like that. That is the first layer. Uh, and again, the rest of it is the stuff that is connected to the ferrite. Just gonna pull that off. There it is. As well, this shell, I just wanna open this up using a pair of cutters or side cutters. You can see, look at that really nice copper inside of that as well. Get it all. This does add up. Look how beautiful that is. So I just twist it just to make sure it stays together. A little bit more plastic, it's gonna go in that bin. Okay. And again, I am for this experiment using this plastic, going to weigh it separate. I wanna make sure I get all of my number two off here, which I will get, but these little spools as well. You can see these spools, some are green, some are the copper color, some are red. It's all number two copper, uh, and it does connect to a little magnetic arm. So you can see I just pull these off. They slide off, or you can slide off. Um, there you go. So this too is a little bit of tin, throw it into that bin, and I will factor this copper in, and I will take it off later, but it won't add up too much, but I definitely want to cut off as close to these pins as I can. Okay, so some more number two, some plastic. Okay, this one, as I said, just gonna hit this as well. There's some more glue on this. Here we go. So a couple pieces, again, this is why my eye protection is a good idea. So some more tin, I'm gonna break this shell. Okay, the ferrite, again, two layers of ferrite, or two spots with ferrite. So there's my really nice yoke. And this is what I'm talking about. This tape does have a little bit of black stuff on it. I just pull that off, but I will leave that part on. I do apologize, it is very, humid in this garage, so might see a little bit of sweat. Um, again, here is the, the glue. This is why it's your number two with the glue on there, so I just leave that on. But I do have to make sure I get out the ferrite from that. So just gonna, very easy, hit it with the hammer. That's the best way I find to do it. Break it up. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is just slide it out. I'm gonna put my bucket up here, slide it out, you can see the pieces of ferrite just come off, okay? And the copper just makes it easier for the copper to slide off of there as well. Okay, just pulls off. Once I break that glue, um, that's kind of once the nice thing, once you hit that ferrite, the glue does break up as well. So nice chunk of ferrite there. Okay, and if it does get stuck, then I will just hit it a couple more times with my hammer just to break it into pieces. The nice thing about this ferrite as well is that uh, if it does break into pieces, I just use a magnet after and then it'll just pick it up. But you can see the copper does slide off of here, but I'm just gonna loosen it up again with the hammer. Okay, so there it is, breaking it just easier to handle. 
Okay, so there's the pieces of ferrite. Almost done. Okay, so look at that nice lump of number two. Throw that on there. The circuit boards, these circuit boards, I will throw into e-waste and I'll get five cents a pound here. So I do have a bin over here. This wire, I will cut this wire off. This wire is gonna be classified as 60% appliance wire that I have here once I cut it off the e-waste because the circuit boards are only worth five cents a pound. But this, because this wire is only one coating of plastic and copper inside of that, it is gonna be 60% appliance wire and going right now for $1.65 a pound. So I have less than a pound here, but I definitely wanna make sure I separate it from my circuit board because I'm gonna make more from that. Uh, but for this experiment, I'm just leaving it all together. Okay, some more copper here. Again, some more ferrite. Just gonna break it. Okay, so here you go. Glided it off there. Make sure I get all of it. My safety glasses are fogging up here, so actually I could barely see. Did not expect it to be so humid in here. And unfortunately, there's a lot of background noise. I can't open my door because there is some construction going on behind me at the house next door. So want to make sure that I fit, factor that noise out. Okay, but there's the ferrite just coming out right now. Last bit of it right here. There we go. So some copper, there's my plastic, gonna be separate, okay? Circuit board, plastic. And the last one, as I said, right here, just a little bit more smashy, smashy. Okay, so it shows you how small some of these um, yokes can be, but again, just because it's small doesn't mean that it's not worth good money. Okay, so some more yoke. Break this ferrite. There we go. You also get some of these clamps too. I throw these clamps once I have um, <laughs> some of them I've used before, but I've got so many of them now, I just throw them into my tin. But you definitely can use them again if you need them, as well as the screws that come off of that. There we go. Just slide it off. See how nice and easy that is? Once you get the glue off of there, it definitely speeds it up. And that's part of the nice thing about breaking it. There you go. So here is all my copper. Uh, it probably took me about, I don't know, an hour and a half to do all of these, break it up, clean it up. Uh, I did take a couple rests from the heat, but just gonna weigh it now for you. So here is my big container of ferrite that I have. I have a scale right here. So again, as I said, I'm gonna throw this into my eight cents a pound. I have about 14 pounds right there at eight cents a pound, which is great. Here again is all of my number two Copper, I just gotta cut this part off. But you can see the different colors of that. Look at that, different colors. There's even some reds in there. I have right here, pull that fair right off. I have 12 pounds right there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually weigh it on this smaller scale, just to see this scale only goes up to 11 pounds, but if this is 12 pounds, as I said, there is no ferrite in here. It's all gonna be number two. I have exactly 10 pounds, 15 ounces. So 11 pounds at $3.50 a pound. So that's awesome. So uh, over $35 right there. So $35, as I said, eight cents a pound for this at 12 pounds or uh, 14 pounds, sorry, that's awesome. And unfortunately, I do have some garbage here. 
that is gonna go into the landfill. But nice thing is it only has about six pounds there of plastic. So that is definitely good from th uh, 30 pounds of yolks, as I said, over $35 for that. Again, it took me an hour and a half to break it all out, clean it out, do all that stuff. Um, and that's not even a true time because as I said, I've had a couple heat breaks. <laughs> as you can see, the sweat is coming off. It is very humid and sticky today, but an excellent source of number two copper. And I will just for the sake of this, weigh this little bit of e-waste and circuit boards. I have a pound, five ounces there. So again, there's gonna be some money from this wire, which is great, and some circuit boards and more items diverted from the landfill. So quick video, copper yolks from your CRT televisions and computer monitors, an excellent source of copper. They copper yolks are always number two copper and a great item to scrap because you also have the ferrite coming from that that's going into my tin shred. So quick video, hope you enjoyed it. Again, awesome place to get copper. Please continue putting the comments down or questions. Uh, this was from a viewer asking me about the copper from these yolks. Yes, an excellent item to scrap. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.